Markets were weak again overnight, with both US and European share markets falling. There is a bit of nervousness surrounding the European debt situation at the moment, but a patch of very soft economic data has certainly not helped matters out. US manufacturing data was weak over the past month, and forward orders are also looking pretty soft. Demand for US exports has certainly fallen off. US existing home sales have also fallen over the past month, and once again, this has been put down to the drop in US government subsidies for first home buyers. China is also looking a bit more patchy with further economic data out overnight that does suggest that their outlook is looking a little bit more shaky. The New Zealand dollar has been trading higher against the US dollar over the past few days, and on Friday morning it is trading just shy of 69 cents. Overnight, wheat futures traded on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange were higher. This followed a report from the US Department of Agriculture that indicated that the corn crop for this year is going to be a little bit lower than previously thought. This will probably drive the prices up for corn and drive farmers in the US to both soybeans and to wheat. Feed input prices for the industry have been fairly low over the past 12 months, but any increases in feed inputs will put a squeeze on margins and of course on profitability. In any event, feed input costs for, both for the US farm industry are likely to be higher than pre-2007 levels. This is good news for the New Zealand industry on a longer term basis as we are able to compete on a cost competitive basis. New Zealand's milk powder exports into China have increased by over 400% over the last four years alone. China now accounts for 15% of New Zealand's total dairy exports and any slowdown for that economy could have a pretty big impact on our agricultural sector, especially for dairy. The one comfort that I do have is that Chinese consumers are relatively new to dairy consumption. Their price expectations were not set on previous price levels of a few years ago that were about half that of today's levels. This does suggest that increases in prices will not be met by a lot of resistance from Chinese dairy consumers. This should be good news for the dairy industry over the longer term, and we do see Fonterra payments averaging in the mid to late $5 range over a longer term basis.